guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here, StringBuzzWorld.org being the music journalism site, links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today, and it's by Ed Sheeran, and it's his latest track, Shape of You. I have to apologise for the background noise. The dogs next door, they just never stop, so I'm going to have to do this video with them in the background anyway, so yeah, I apologise for that. But I'm going to refer to the original article as I usually do for these videos, so I hope you enjoy. So after finding Castle on the Hill, a pretty average track to be honest, I was kind of excited to be proven wrong with this track, because obviously he's released them both at the same time, which is kind of a gutsy move. Move. Shall we cut the chit chat short really and just see what I thought of it? Well, there are aspects here that I like and others which I find a little bit iffy. Again, I think Ed sounds quite unique here and I'm glad to be hearing his voice once again. The little salsa slash flamenco type thing he was doing on guitar also sounds pretty great to me. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Latin music, so whenever it pops up in the charts, I really do enjoy it and I get pretty darn happy about it. But the dance hall rhythm just crippled the track for me. I'm so fed up with these dance hall slash electro reggae flavorings on every single pop track at the moment. And here is a great example of how not to use them. It didn't fit with the track at all and it's left a lot of people in the comment section stating of comparisons to tracks like Cheap Thrills and other songs that came out last year and that's not really what you, what you really want to hear commented on an Ed Sheeran type track. Production wise you'll be glad to hear that this track is miles better than Castle on the Hill and we actually have some mid ground this time around. We have an off kilter synth steel pan sort of drum thing that plays a very simplified rhythm but still possesses a timbre that's pretty fun to listen to. We have a very organic sounding guitar, acoustic guitar, which adds some grit into the mix, which is what I really wanted to hear. And we have some very strongly mixed vocals as well. Ed sounded pretty raw on this track, which I really liked. The sporadic harmonies also worked well to add some decorative spice to the track. The acoustic slash whatever they were meant to be drums didn't sound great to me though, and I think this is the biggest fault, and they lacked any and all personality that you would have wanted in your percussion department. I just think the drums perhaps should have been mixed a bit more, I don't know, acoustically, a bit more gritty, uh, a bit more, I don't know, just sounding a bit more raw and organic, really. Quality wise well, the track is okay, and there are some elements that I genuinely did enjoy. I like the melodies that were used, I like the salsa guitar, as I've already said, but the dance hall thing really got on my nerves. The track just repeated and repeated, never gaining any momentum, and it just felt clunky, to be honest. It had me too concentrated on the rhythm, and because of it, I never really sat well with the lyrics. The syllabic behaviour was a little bit plain, to, admittedly, and the themes were a little bit basic, and it will probably work better on a full album, because I think Ed does write really complex lyrical songs every now and then, but obviously he needs songs which are a bit more mundane, just to, you know, stop the intensity now and then. So I think this will sound much better on an album than a single. And all in all, a bit of a confusing track, really. I will say that I probably enjoyed the song more, than Castle on the Hill, but even then it sort of sits in our sort of average pile. I can see fans liking this song and I hope they do, but for me I'm just feeling a little bit underwhelmed from these two singles. So I gave this a G rating of 5.5 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video then please leave a like, subscribe to see more and I'll see you around next time. Bye bye.